Hello guys, today I'd like to show you a video on how to repair your Brown Series 7, Series 9. I'm not sure if this works for the Series 5, but I've had trouble like this before where the shaver is working just fine and it does for years. And then all of a sudden it starts pulling on your beard. I've actually bought another one of these. I bought a cassette first. It kept on doing the same thing. It was painful to shave. It kept on pulling on my beard. So I... Uh, I could do it, but I had to go really slow and it just was time consuming before it was just a lot faster. That's what I loved about this electric shavers. So what happens is the following, all right? And I'll show you, this one has actually fixed already. It's a second unit that I had is my older one on my series nine that I purchased. So everything looks fine. You turn it on, it works perfect until you notice that it start pulling on your beard. And I looked at it closely and I noticed that, well, there's four individual uh, cassettes here on this whole cassette. I don't know what you would call them, but they're individual and they go up individually if you push on that on the bottom. Okay, so like so, there's also four here. One, two, three, that's stuck and the fourth one here. So as you can see, they, they spring up and that's what makes it go up and shave you just fine. Now I noticed that this one was stuck. So I thought to myself, well, here's a problem. I contacted Brown, they were very helpful. They told me to return the machine to a service center and I think you have to pay for the shipping, but they will ship it back for free and they would take care of it for you. Now, I did the same thing with them. With this Series 7, it was also, uh, not working properly and I thought it was the cassette they sent me another cassette for free uh, it says Pro Sonic the original cassette was a series 7 but nonetheless it worked it worked uh, the cassette worked fine but I still had the issue so I decided to purchase this newer one and eventually this one started doing the same problem so I thought to myself wow what's going on I've contacted Brown again and I told him about my series 9 and they said they once again, sent it to the server center, we will take care of it. So uh, before I did send it to the service center, I, I thought to myself, well, I've noticed the cost of the problem and I thought I could fix it on my own. So I ventured a little bit, do not remove this screws here. That that'll, won't help you on that. However, there is this uh, cover here. And as soon as you remove this one, you just pry your nail a little bit in there you get it out pretty quick. It just snaps right out. Now, as you notice, once it snaps right out, and I'm actually doing this video with my cell phone, so I'm gonna rotate here. All right, this is a coin jar that I have that sorts coins, and this is where I placed my phone, but anyhow, you notice that it goes in, and then it goes out of place, and that's fine because it doesn't have the cover. That's perfectly fine. Let me get a slotted screwdriver here. And if you notice, this little thing right here is what's the little spring. It's, it's a spring lever, whatever they call it. And as you notice, this one happens to be stuck right there. I don't know if you can see it, but if you push it back and under, and this may take me just a little bit to replicate. I actually fixed this machine in the morning. It was already broken again, and I had to shave. Luckily, today's my day off, so I have time. Now, uh, I replicated the error, so I put it back to where it's not supposed to, just to show you guys what's going on right there. But anyhow, if you get the spring to go actually down a little bit and under, It'll go up again, as you can see right here. It'll go up again. And then you can hold it up on this edge, put your nail in there and slightly pull it up a little bit. Now you can mess with the spring down there and make it go under and yep, it goes up again. And uh, wow, you fixed it. So guess what? You push it back under and it does the same thing again. So technically, the solution is to push it out, put it out, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and remove it. So you twist 
I guess counterclockwise and as you can see uh, just right there that's what you pull out counterclockwise that goes into that little pole right there right under now as soon as you go back in there and I'm trying to do the best as I can so I can see the camera and see what's going on at the same time so it won't go in like that so you have to put it at an angle once you put it in there and you make it go then you're going to twist back again and try to get it into the pole without getting in the way of the lever down there and here we go so it's going to take about a minute or so let's put it back out again let's try this one more time yep there we go problem fixed so i know this video doesn't show you exactly what i'm seeing i'm trying to do the best that i can i'm doing this with my iphone 8 plus so now we got him back in there okay and let's rotate now. okay now it's back in there and all we have to do now is go ahead and place this back on where it belongs just careful in there just kind of wiggle it around so it goes all the little pulls push this ones back into place where they belong and then once you have them there just press down firmly it'll kind of go back in this one didn't go back in as you can see it's uh, a little bit off place so we'll just redo the process okay. pull it back out push them back into place one more time push it down and there you go voila you fixed it and the spring here is loading again as you can see it goes up and down with no problems so now when the cassette goes in there it's gonna push all the individual ones up perfectly and as it contours to your face you know they they put you push down when you're shaving and then again they spring back up so they when this one is rotating from side to side that's what's rotating this trimmers here side to side and make the cutting go perfectly without pulling on your beard so that's pretty much how you fix it all right so uh if you want to know how to fix it uh this probably be the end of the video for you i'm wanting to do a couple of tips because i've been shaving with this uh electronic brown shavers for the past eight years and through that time i noticed there's a lot of things that you know you can improve uh, your shaving experience one of them is the actual uh, products that you can use additionally with this machine shaving by itself it does a wonderful job I won't say it doesn't because it does but at one point I used uh, something from Remington it's a face saver what it is is a powder kind of put it in your face you rub it into your beard and you rub it with your hand be careful not to put too much it goes everywhere it falls in the sink it falls into your machine and it makes a mess, but it gets the job done. Then later on, you can just scrub everything out here and all the nooks and crannies around here. And then, you know, put your machine back to the actual uh, this, uh, device that you have here, which is the, is the charging and the actual washing for the machine itself. Now, another thing that I discovered is that you can also use electric shave. It's also a great product. However, it does smell a lot and it runs like crazy. So as soon as you pour it into your fingers, it goes everywhere. It goes just literally everywhere. When you're trying to apply it to your beard, it ends up in your mouth and your lips. It's got a very bitter taste to it and uh, it'll just dry up your lips like you have no idea. So it's a little bit uncomfortable, but you know, it's one way to do it. It's smell is very, very strong. I like to shave then shower. So even after I shower and wash my face throughout, uh, you smell like this electric shave all the time. Don't get me wrong, if you actually like the smell of it, it's gonna be wonderful for you. Uh, I now use this after product, which is a lot cheaper. Uh, I picked it up at the local Walmart and uh, it was about a buck, buck and change, you know, less than $2. Now this one, however, has a sort of a gel consistency. Let's try to get some here in my finger if it wants to come out. So 
and it kind of runs a little bit, but you have enough time to kind of, you know, rub it into your beard. You have to actually let them dry about five minutes. That's what I do, and then I shave, and it's just silky smooth, perfect. It's just a lot better. If I have a long beard, I'll obviously just shave the, not against the grain, but across or any other way, and then go up against the, uh, the grain, and then we have a perfect shave. And uh, this one has a pleasant smell, but if you take a shower, it'll completely go away. You don't smell like it anymore. So uh, those are my uh, tips that I have for uh, shaving with those additional products that you can use to you know, enhance your experience. Other than that, I would recommend you guys to kind of clean off the cassette a little bit, you know, right next to your sink, you know, just tap it against your fingers, you know, get all the extra shaving, the shavings off of it and everything. You can do the same with the machine here and around the missing crannies. You put it back up and then you put it back into your uh, charging uh, slash uh, uh, washing uh, device here so they can uh, wash and lubricate the actual machine itself. Another thing is every time, every so often I go in there and you see where it actually drains down there, you're going to find a lot of shaving build up there. And what you want to do is just want to brush it up a little bit and of course you know tap it down one way or the other if you open it itself it'll come out on this other end too and um, that's what's kept my machine working perfect uh, i no longer need to contact braun to get it fixed for me i can do it myself however if you send it to a service center i am not sure if they're actually having uh, a permanent fix uh, to this you know just engineering mistake other than that this is a german machine i believe and the germans uh, engineer a lot of great things and you know nobody's perfect but uh, i have a very good experience with this machine so i don't care i take care of it for the person who only has one machine sending it to the service center is kind of tough since you have no more machine to shave with especially if you got to go to work and stuff and uh that's why i kind of took it upon myself to do this i've uh had the other machine too, but uh, I think I'm gonna give this one to my brother or something. I have no more use for it, but uh, it's working perfect too. Uh, there's other machines that uh, might have the same system here that you can remove this and fix the spring. This one only has one in the middle and two on the sides. The two on the sides never break though. Uh, series fives, I'm not sure I don't own one. The, they might be similar, but uh, if you wanna try it, go ahead. And this is it. My name is Frank. Uh, I don't make professional videos. This is one that I just made because I thought this would be very helpful because I searched online and found none. And uh, well, I made my own. If you like it, uh, you know, press like. If you have any comments, put them on the bottom and uh, we'll go ahead and read them and see if I can answer any questions. Thank you.